What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we're going to be talking about a very important topic of conversation uh, and that is resin. All right, I've been getting a lot of questions like, yo D, how much resin should I use? Should I refresh? Should I not refresh? What is it? Uh, why is it even there? Uh, is the game locked behind the wall? Do I need anything in my life or can I not play this if I don't refresh? Uh, due to like PTSD from previous Gashi games, uh, this normally receives a pretty negative connotation, but I'm, I'm here to clear it all up for you guys and explain to you guys exactly what it is. So for my, my peeps out there, if you guys have never played a Gacha game, basically this is like your energy system. Now, for those of you guys who have never played this game in general, you are you can absolutely go around the world, farm, and play without ever using this if you decide that's what you want to do, right? Uh, or refreshing it, I should say. You will definitely use this no matter what style of player you are. But the big thing here, guys, is to understand that this energy is used to kill bosses, okay? So for those of you guys who need materials, like let's say you guys are building an ice hero like Chi-Chi, you're going to need these ice materials, so you're going to have to come down here and kill this ice boss. If you guys are building like Keichan, right, and you need this lightning material, you guys are going to need to come down here and do this, or Beto characters, or whatever. If you guys are killing the fire boss, you guys are going to have to come down and get the fire materials from the fire boss, and this all costs resin to do so. Now, the confusion comes is... When people are like, well, how much should you use? When should you use it? What if I'm this level? What if I'm that level? So as a general guideline, what I recommend is if you guys are AR 20 or below or 15 and below under 15, then you guys are typically going to be using your resin for ley lines, ley line outcrops. It doesn't matter which one you guys do. You guys can do money. You guys can do uh, the other one for character XP. It doesn't really matter. Once you guys are level eight and you guys unlock these, just do them, burn all your energy. You always want to put yourself in a situation where this number is always lower than this number. <laughs> Excuse the 145. I did a refresh uh, when, <laughs> on the last take of this video when I realized that I wasn't even recording <laughs> and I had to start over from the beginning. Oops, my bad. That's why mine is cap over cap right now. But typically speaking, uh, you you always want to you know do these and again make sure this is always as low as possible so it's always generating. If this says 120 out of 120 or, or heaven forbid 145 out of 120, you're basically just losing out on energy. You generate one of these resin every eight minutes, seven to eight minutes ish. So over the course of a day, you can pretty much get a full, you know, refresh. If you guys want to wait, let's say you guys got stuff to do, you can log off, let that refill, come back on and do it. So those are what these are the things, the instances that you guys are going to use resin for. And you guys are also going to use them for the bosses, but the bosses are only once a week. So, you know, there's that. This is a great way to get gear, so on and so forth. Now, one thing I want you guys to be aware of, um, it, as, as we go into when to use the resin, like we've already talked about level 8, and once you guys get to 15, um, you guys will literally have a decision to make. After you've been doing ley lines for a while, I'd really advise that you guys really start to look at these bosses. Um, if you guys have extra resin laying around, start to look at these bosses because you guys are going to need to start farming these mats. Quick trick though is if you guys don't have the ability to kill the bosses, there's uh, vendors in the shop, specifically Marjorie and Mondstadt, that sell these items. But if not, then you guys definitely, definitely, definitely want to kill these bosses or learn how to kill these bosses as early as possible. Um, the earlier you can, the better off it's going to be. It might take you a little longer in the beginning, but if you can kill them, I mean, it's a nice bit of XP. And of course, you get loot and of course, gear. Now, with these bosses, the loot dra that drops is determined by your adventure rank. You will start to see four star gear as early as adventure rank 30, and it will be a lot more consistent at adventure rank 35. It'll be way consistent <laughs> at 40, and you'll start to see five star gear at adventure rank 40 as well. Once you get to adventure rank 45, you'll start to see five star gear all the damn time, and I'm assuming at 50, it'll just be nuts. I haven't been to 50 at the highest I've been is 48. So that's something that you look at there. So after that, then you guys are pretty much just going to be using your resin in any way, shape, or form uh, that you see fit. I recommend under 15, you guys will definitely do the ley lines. 20 to basically 35, uh, you guys will typically be doing bosses unless, unless there's a material that you need from these domains. Domains is the other way that you can use your resin that you guys can see here. And so you guys just basically look at the materials that you need. You guys can check the resources, what your daily schedule is based on what's going on or whatever equipment you need. You can also head over to the other one, which is down here. Let me show you where it's at. It's right here. And this one is the other weapon enhanced material that you guys will also need as well. 
Now, if you guys are looking for talents, talent books, you guys can head over here to Tyshawn Mansion. This drops talent books. Make sure to check the schedule to see what you guys need because this will help you level up your abilities. And the other version of that one is going to be over here as well. So make sure you guys keep an eye on that. So outside of that, guys, the question all the time is how to use your resin is when you need materials. If you need materials for weapons and or character ascension or abilities, whatever, make sure you guys are doing these dungeons. You know what I'm saying? Get it done. And then if you guys don't need those materials, then you guys are basically just going to use your resin to do bosses, right? And or the, the world boss over here. And that's pretty much it. The next question is how much should I refresh or should I refresh? And basically all the refresh is, guys, is when you hit the plus button, um, you pay a certain amount of primo gems and it gives you more resin. Now, the other item I want to talk about before we get into should you or shouldn't you use uh, energy refreshes is the fragile resin. Now, as you guys go up in Adventure Rank, you guys will get this from the Adventurer's Guild. Uh, just talk to them. You'll get this every time you Adventure Rank up past 10, I think. And you'll get this, and this is a free resource that you guys can use for refreshes every single day. Uh, just to get a little extra progression if you guys are looking for that. Now, for those of you guys who are wondering, should you refresh or not? That's all going to depend on your style as a player. If you guys are free to play, and you guys are just focusing on summons. You don't care about progression. You'll just get there when you get there. You're just kind of enjoying the road. You guys are going to do no refreshes at all other than the free ones that I just showed you. So that's the key thing there. If you guys are one step up from that, meaning you guys are like, all right, I spend like 20 bucks a month. I'm getting the battle pass or I'm spending like 50 bucks and that's it. I'm done. Then what I recommend doing is doing the lowest cost refreshes. I think the lowest costs are 50 and 60. Um, so if you guys are looking at the 50 and 60 or 50 and 50 or something like that, I would only recommend doing those because anything over that, like once we get into the hundreds here that you guys can see here, like they get pretty crazy then 150 right then 200 then 200 like it gets expensive really really fast so i gotta say that if you guys are one step up from free to play i'll just focus on doing the cheapest ones so that way you can still get some extra runs every day plus your free ones and then uh, it'll still allow you to stay in the surplus of primo gems for summoning now for my super try hard pay to win peeps listen refreshes all day every day you're gonna do all of them every day it's extra loot, extra mats, extra gear. Um, it's just a nice way to safeguard yourself, uh, to put yourself in a position where you have extra materials to kind of splurge just in case you need to upgrade a character or if you're building multiple characters that use the same materials, which is really annoying, by the way. <laughs> so that's what you guys want to look at. And if you guys are somewhere in between super try hard and like one step up from pay to, uh, from free to play, then uh, you guys can fill, fill yourself in wherever you're at or wherever you feel comfortable, you know, with your resin expenditure and or primo gem expenditure so that's pretty much it guys um the big thing here is a lot of people ask me and you know yo d how many refreshes do you do, do i do a day and i just do them i've been doing them all every day um if you guys are free to play and you guys are still trying to do full refreshes you are gonna have to sacrifice some summons i mean it just is what it is you got to choose because one is the refreshes are expensive <laughs> They are. They're very, very expensive. They cost a lot of primo gems. But you can get by for a very long time. I've gotten by as long as almost four weeks uh, just farming in-game currency and just doing a business stuff like that. Um, and then just doing my full refreshes. So it's, it's not hard to do. After that, though, I think it can get a little tough, um, especially if you're not spending. But I don't know. We'll see how it pans out with the ad, with the events, so on and so forth. So... That's all I wanted to cover today, guys. Um, I just wanted to really hit this topic because I know a lot of people have questions as to what the hell, you know, a refresh even is. Uh, so I wanted to break this down and give you guys some tips and guidelines as to, you know, where you should be at depending on what your style of play is and what your goals are. So anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box. And I'll be happy to assist. And if you guys haven't seen the teaser video about the four new heroes, make sure you guys go check that out. So anyway, I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.